All right. Here we go. Lord have mercy. All right, boys and girls. Here we are. Tournament morning. And uh, I'll be 100% honest, sweetie. The tournament has already begun. But uh, we're in a brand new spot that I've never been to before. I would not normally do this where I just show up to a brand new spot that I've never been to before but today is I guess just a day for new things and so we're doing something new today a brand new spot we're gonna see what we can get done but it's uh let's get it on All right, guys, first one of the morning. A little 15 incher. <laughs> well, boys and girls, there's number one of the morning, a little 15 incher on the general. I have to say, not too bad way to start. We're um, quite a ways in the morning, to be totally honest with you, but I have uh, made a pretty big paddle up the creek that i'm fishing so i kind of had this plan in my head that i wanted to uh you know, move some water this morning get up here where i wanted to be at and then just start fishing my way back down and so that's what we've done but number one this morning on a little five inch june bug general so it's gonna keep going and see what we can get done Well, boys and girls, we've been at this thing for about two and a half hours, and we have got one bite so far. Honestly, I thought this creek would be a lot better than it's turned out to be. Um, I don't really have a fallback plan, to be totally honest with you. And so I don't know where or what I would do if I were to leave this creek. I mean, I still got a long way to fish, though, because I did paddle through a lot of this this morning. But... 115 inches just kind of surprises me like i thought that they'd be wanting to eat a buzz bait in here and there's just be a lot more fish than there is i mean it's just kind of surprising i don't know what the deal is or why there isn't more fish i mean it's a good deep creek it's got some good current in it a lot of cover for these fish to want to live around and they're just they're just not here but we're going to keep pounding around on it here i mean i think fish until about 10 um, and then if it's not working out by then, which is about two more hours, um, if it's not working out by then, then we'll go do something else. Go look for something else to go fish. Um, I've got something that I think I can go do if there's not somebody already on it. Um, just a good way to kind of end the day. It's not too far of a drive from here. And so we'll just see. We're going to fish till about 10 and then maybe make a little power move. All right, boys and girls, <clears throat> this ain't working out. 
We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go uh, head up another creek that I believe we can catch some fish in. We need four more for our limit. And honestly, if I get a limit today, I'm gonna be really, really happy. So we're gonna make the move. GoPro, stop recording. All right, guys, so here we are, spot number two. Like I said, we're gonna see what we can get into down on this spot. I was going to actually go a little bit further up the creek, but there was somebody already there. And so we had to settle for this little stretch. This stretch is pretty good. It's definitely not as good as that upper part, but that upper part, like I said, was occupied by somebody. So we're going, fish i don't know how long here we're gonna fish here for a little while probably just fish this whole section really really thoroughly maybe switch between the coal shad and a wacky rig until we can pick up a few and hopefully fill our limit out in here and then i've got one more spot that i can hit that i've also caught some fish in. i mean honestly you guys today <clears throat> zero practice went into this totally blind didn't really know where i was going what i was doing uh, I just knew I wanted to go explore that one creek and thought, you know, today's tournament was as good of day as any to go and do that. And we've seen how it's worked out so far. One 15 inch fish really isn't, you know, ideal for what we were looking for, but it's still fun. I like to explore. I like to go put this kayak places that other people aren't willing to go take and put their big hobies and stuff like that. And we're having fun. It's a beautiful day and a great day to be alive, and that's really all that matters. Damn. <laughs> Freaking. That's a good one. There you go guys, 17 and three quarter. Absolutely beautiful smallmouth. Stay after it.
There you go guys, a little 14 and a quarter. We're like very, very slowly putting together a limit. All right guys, we're gonna make that move that I was talking about to the third spot of today and we're going to see what else we can get done. Hopefully um, catch us a few more fish and uh, round out our limit. I just need two more bites and I think I can get two more bites where I'm heading. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna find out when we get there. But yeah, we're gonna make that move. This is gonna be a little bit of a bitch to be totally honest with you to get this kayak back up here, but All right guys, spot number three. Let's see if we can round out our limit here. We need two more bites today to have a limit and I think we can do it. If this place hasn't just been absolutely pounded um, to death, I believe that there's some fish in here that may want to eat the coal shad and we are going to try to catch those fish. And so yeah. Swinging for the fences for the last two bites. We're gonna throw the coal shaft for a few minutes, so the wacky rig around for a few minutes. We're gonna see if we can put some fish into the boat. All right, boys and girls, I think we will call that one quits for today. We, uh, we caught some fish. We explored three different creeks. We moved around a whole lot. I came in today with zero plan, zero practice, and just showed up and fished, and honestly, I had a good time. It was, it was a beautiful day. It's been about probably two and a half weeks since I've actually been on the water and, and caught a fish, and so it feels good to get back out here and just I don't know, take a breath, enjoy nature. The last few weeks, as many of you guys know, has been very, very stressful. And so to be out here and be able to enjoy today and, and just keep it simple in the paddle kayak was, was totally worth being out here and doing it. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get back to the house. Uh -huh. We'll see you there. So it's been about a week since I fished the tournament that you guys just finished watching. And I just wanted to take a moment and kind of talk about the past few weeks here, talk about my appreciation to you guys and just kind of help you guys to understand where I'm at and where I'm going moving into the future um, from this point on. And so 
Number one, let's kind of clear up the timeline here. The video that you guys watched last week is now going on almost a month old. That video was filmed two weeks before Dad actually passed away. And I filmed it, edited it, and planned on putting it out the week that Dad passed away. And then obviously Dad passed away and it just got put on the desktop and I totally forgot about it. Um, until I started kind of digging myself out of the hole after dad passed away and started looking and seeing the things that I needed to do, needed to get done, just get back in the swing of doing this awesome job that I have, which is content creation, and started, you know, kind of realizing, oh my gosh, I have this video, I've not even put it out there yet. And so I put it out there kind of with almost no context, and I think a lot of you guys thought that that video was actually made after dad passed away, which it was, and it was actually made before and i just put it out when i did because i forgot that i even made it and so the tournament that you guys just watched is actually the first time that i had been fishing since dad passed away and so that day and the day that you guys just watched was really me just kind of getting out there and trying to enjoy fishing and i'll be totally honest i didn't enjoy it the whole entire day it was a good day it was great to get outside and i'm glad that i got up off the couch and i did what i did because it helped to get me motivated and kind of get my mind back in the right frame or get you know moving towards the right frame um, but it's hard to go fishing without dad being here and it's hard to not be able to call him and talk about fishing while i'm out on the water and so you know i'm working my way through it and and i can't tell you guys how much i appreciate all the kind of words from you guys and even if it's small and even if it's just something as simple as man i'm sorry it really does mean a lot you guys have shown an immense amount of support between youtube and instagram and all the other social platforms that i've i'm on i mean i have received literally thousands of messages at this point and thousands of comments and, and just emails and things like that of just you guys showing me some love i guess is the best way to put it and so it's it has been very awesome to just see this community come together and to do that for me and so i do really appreciate it and moving forward i'm getting back into the swing of things i'm trying to fish um as much as i can and catch fish and make videos some days it's harder than others there's days that honestly it's i just don't want to be out there because being out there reminds me of things that i did with dad and things that dad taught me and it sucks in some moments and even though i do have the greatest job in the world and it's in it's hard to complain about fishing it's not the fishing itself it's just the memories associated with places and times and things that me and my dad did together and so we're getting back into it though folks i've got some tournaments coming up i've got some plans in the future some trips to go do i'm trying to get rid of the boat and get another boat rigged up that i think you guys are going to really enjoy and you know we're just working our way back towards what a new normal is without my dad being here and some days i'm just getting through but i'm getting through them anyway and i'm doing what my dad would want me to do and actually what i said at his funeral which is just to keep going he wouldn't want us to sit he wouldn't want us to mope around and to be sad he would want us to keep going because my dad was a doer he was a yes man and i'm gonna really do my absolute best to uphold his legacy and be the same kind of person and be the man that he taught me to be so yeah i just want to take a moment sit here in the beard bar and talk to you guys about this tell you guys that i love the support i love you guys there's so many of you um, as a whole and individually that are amazing people and i can't sit here and just list off everybody and thank everybody enough for everything that they did but as always you guys are sweet and thank you for watching